Welcome to another Stage Analysis video. It's Sunday the 1st of September 2024. Got a few things to get through on the, the weekend video today, but wanted to start off with a look at one of the, the new features that I've added to the, the Stage Analysis website this week. So we've been working on for a while, which is a way to let users add their own chart lists, watch lists, whatever you want to call it. We've called it chart lists. There's a, a new section up here in the menu which you can click on and it will take you to a page. So, for example, the page at the moment, if I go to it, is, is blank currently. It doesn't show much when you first come into it. And then um, once you start loading lists, they start appearing in this list. So there's only a few functions on it at the moment. Very, very simple. When you click through to it, it takes you through to your lists. I'm going to be adding editing capabilities so you can add, delete, edit all the individual stocks as well. But at the moment, fairly simple. You've got a, a new list pop up. You name your list, you add the tickers using a comma separated list or individual ticker, and then you can save the watch list. So and when you want to edit the list, there's a delete buttons through here. So if we come back to the screener. First of all, there's a, there's a few ways that you can get to it. So if you create a new list, we've got this You'll see in the, the first list here is called chart lists. Now I've changed the name from index to chart list. So it doesn't just have the, the S&P 500, NASDAQ, etc. anymore. It's now got whatever custom list you create will appear down the bottom here. And then you can use the, the screener on that list. So for example, if we I created a precious metals list, you can see we've got 38 precious metals from different groups here. And then you can apply the screen. So which this week had a positive or a negative SATA score. So none, only one had a positive score this week, whereas you can see 26 of them had a negative SATA score change this week and cross over into week. There was four this week that were dropping to a, a weak SATA score. So for the Mines, for example, dropping down to a, a three of 10 at the moment. So your watch lists or chart lists will appear in this first drop down here and you can use all of the filters on them. So one of the, the benefits of doing this is that we can save our scans results into a new chart list. So you can only save up to a, a maximum chart list of 100 at the moment initially. So for example, each week I look, one of the scans I run is a cross above the Mansfield relative strength zero line. I do the market cap over 300 million, average volume over 1.5, look for some strong relative volume, for example, and might want them to be breaking out as well. So you can see there's only 10 stocks here, got AFM, AFRM, like making a new stage two breakout. You've got Box with a, a big move this week, breaking out to, to new highs here, etc. So if you wanted to save that as a new list, so you can call it whatever you like, you just click on the save list button here, call it whatever you want. So I'll just call this one test one to be getting rid of this and it will take you to the new page. It takes a little a little bit to, to load up initially. Once it's saved, it's cached, so it'd be quicker on the second go. And then you've got this drop down here of your, your custom lists. And if you go back to the, the chart list page up here, you can see it's now in that list. So we can come through to this page and you can see the, the changes week on week. And obviously we want to create a portfolio. You want to just have um, watch list, focus lists, whatever you want to create in here, then you'll get the SATA scores, the mental relative strength. But as I said, importantly, that will also appear in the chart list down here. So if I go to test one at the bottom down here now, you'll see that list now appears in the screener and we can then use all of the filters on it. So another way that you can apply the, the chart list, if you go to the, the button at the top here, chart list where it's got the new, click on that, come to the page. If you click on new list, this time it does it from a more manual approach. So you give it a name and then you enter the tickers manually. So for example here, I want to create, I wanted to, something we don't have in the, the GICS um, groups is the, the solar stocks group. They're split out over, over multiple groups. You've got some in semiconductors, some utilities, some in various other groups as well. So we can create our own custom list called for solar stocks here. So solar stocks. And then if I just quickly save the list, I've already, here's one I made earlier type thing. He says, Damn it. I can't get that. Sorry, it's coming out of full screen, but bother that. 
So if I copy and paste that in, so these need to be a, a comma separated list for it to work. You can have more spaces, it can be uppercase or lowercase, but these need to match stocks that are in the screen. So for, at the moment, it only accepts US stocks, so you won't be able to put ETFs in here for the moment. I will be changing that soon. And if there's something in here that's wrong, it will give you an error. So for example, if I put something that, that doesn't exist, um, just uh, test, for example, that press save, you'll get an error, tick a not found test. So if we get rid of that, so and then press save watch list, you'll see it now creates your list. And this is saved and it's only for you. So it's just your list, it's, it's unique to your um, login so no one else gets this in their their drop downs it just comes down in your list so whatever list you save you've got down here so we've now got this solar list and again if i go back to to the screen here you can see that's now appeared at the bottom of the the solar stocks and then we can use the the filters on that so how many this week had a positive change for example only m phase energy but how many had a negative you can start using the, the filters on them, which one's changed into strong. So M phase was the only one moving from a neutral to a strong and relative volume, etc. So all of the, the filters and any additional filters that we add into here, you'll be able to use with your own custom list. So as I said, really good way if you want to track watch lists or your own portfolio or anything like that. So another feature we need obviously with this is to be able to delete these lists so the test one list here at the moment so at the top right here we've got new list and edit list in the chart list page if you click on edit list at the moment you get a delete button going to be adding some a different way of doing this maybe with check boxes and then a single button but at the moment you've got buttons down here so if you click on the delete button you'll see are you sure you want to delete this press return successfully deleted that is now gone Come back to the screen a page and you'll see that's no longer in the list here so we reset the filters you can see that that is all gone now so really really simple way to to obviously have your own lists and it appears in the screener so gives you all of that functionality so and as i can see in here we're going to be adding extra functionality with this this is just the very most basic version of it at the moment so you can't add or take out individual stocks currently you'd have to remake the list again but there is a, a quick and easy way to do that at the moment so it might you might think it's a bit of a pain you want to have to copy out all of these but if you come back to the screener we do have the export function so for example in here with solar stocks so say you wanted to add an extra stock in here if you click the export button it gives you that comma separated list so you can copy that press return close that come back into your chart list then go new list then what solar list solar stocks two and then you can copy that in you can add or you can remove stocks so we wanted to get rid of array for some reason here save that and that's now in here so that's a now a different list to the other list so you've got two solar lists one with array in it and one without array in it so as i said a little bit fiddly at the moment i will be adding ways to add the uh, functionality in the coming weeks to, to add and remove um, individual stocks but at the moment it's just a little bit more of a go around the, the houses way of doing it so these are my current lists for example I've got the, the, the mag 7 stocks here I've added precious metal stocks as you can see some are gold silver precious metals and minerals and I think there are some diversified mineral ones as well in there. Uranium stocks, for example, they're all in the coal and consumable fuels group, but obviously you don't want the, the coal stocks in here as well. The copper stocks, we've got a mix of, of sub-industries with those as well. So you can make your own more focused lists that are specific to what you're, you're interested in, and then they will appear in your chart lists in the, in the first filter here. So hopefully that makes sense right, let's move on to the next bit